thank you so much for watching this video so in this video I'm gonna make another photo shoot prop so it's a DIY project um, I'm not saying I invented the idea I'm just gonna show you my version of this prop I was actually inspired by other photographers who used this prop and it just looked amazing and uh, so I'm gonna create my own version of it um, yeah let's just unbox this uh, baby first and then you might know what I'm talking about well you can see it in the description anyway but it's gonna be like a floral circle that kids can sit in um, for like a boho themed photo session uh, our daughter's turning five soon so I want to take her birthday photos like with of her like sitting in this like circle of flowers um, but also for a sitter session for a newborn session it can be used um, I might do some mini sessions just with this prop and like a beautiful matching background who knows I heard uh, you can buy it on Amazon like a similar thing it's um, like a lock holder I think it's for like wood firewood um, and it was only like $30 $40 but if I would buy it and have it be shipped to the Netherlands it will cost me like over a hundred dollars I think so I bought this one in the Netherlands it was a bit more expensive let's hope the quality is good I don't want to cut open the box because if it isn't any good I can always send it back in the box So, this is it! I think it's perfect. So yeah, it's like 80 centimeters, so it's a little bit smaller than I envisioned. But, if you're creative enough, I think a child can fit. I think for an adult it might be a little bit too small. Yeah, definitely too small for an adult. But I think a 2, 3, 4, 5 year old child can fit, definitely. Sitting here, the legs facing forward. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make a little seat inside and wrap flowers around it, like burlap. I wanna put burlap around it. I love the little feet, they're just like little balls. So it's not high from the ground. So even like a one year old can sit inside, which is cool for uh, like a birthday session for the first birthday. A two year old can fit. Uh, I see that my camera battery, battery is dying, so I'm just gonna see how far I'll get. So this is it for now. Well, as you can see, I'm in my studio. It's still a mess. Of, uh, I'm gonna. I have a newborn session later today, so I'm gonna organize it. But I still have like two hours. I'm gonna edit a little bit. But look at this beauty. So it's nice and like, yeah, it's like a metal material and it's strong. I love the bottom, so it's not high from the ground, high up. Some people hang it somewhere and use it as a swing. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna have it on the floor. I'm gonna put like burlap around it, create a little seat and then like have flowers all around it. So the child sits in between the flowers. I can even bring it outside as well, put it in like a field of flowers, and then it's even cooler. And I have here twine. Um, yeah, it's just this. And I'm gonna try and wrap it around my metal black lock holder i'm gonna get it i'm gonna just start wrapping the twine around it so as you can see it's not heavy at all but it's still sturdy like it doesn't just tip over so i know uh other photographers at first have used similar props and i've seen them put like wood in here so you create like a seat or just some cardboard and then wrap the twine around it i'm just gonna start with the twine in the top and then i'm gonna see how sturdy it is and i might not even have to insert like cardboard or anything but i can put the twine like all around 
the big part so it's completely closed or I can wrap the twine really around, only around the bar so it's open in the top. What should I do? Dilemma, dilemma. I could also just buy like pieces of burlap if this doesn't work out. Twine is really strong. So I don't think I need to make like a special seat inside because seriously, I think this will hold anything. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, this is a good project when you have like an older child who's like 12 years old and they wanna earn some pocket, extra pocket money. <laughs> Give them something to do. I just finished the newborn session. So as the mom was feeding the girl, I worked on my little project right here. So I'm already a little bit further along and I love the way it feels and looks very pretty. So um, I'm just gonna have a little snack and then fill the bathtub, wait for the clients to come for the cake smash. And while I'm waiting, continue with this. So it's a new day. I think this project is going to take several days. But anyway, I'm in the studio again. I just set up for another cake smash session. So it should start in about 20 minutes. Uh, yesterday, I went to the store with my daughter and I bought some more twine. So today I'm going to continue my project. I bought five more of these. Um, how long are they? Like about 75 meters i bought five of those i think they were like one euro and 30 cents each i'll check the receipt later but anyway so um yes in between sessions today i have three sessions cake smash maternity session and newborn session in between every session i have an hour like break but it's also time to clean up and set up for the next session Maybe have uh, a little snack or lunch or whatever. Uh, but in between, I also have some time left uh, to continue on with my project. This is the mess of the newborn shoot. Finished, lovely boy, beautiful big sister. Um, and I got to continue while waiting for the mom to feed the baby. I continued with my project. So uh, I'm getting there, now I'm heading home. Bye bye. Okay, so it's a new day. I just finished a newborn session with a little girl to continue with this project. I actually continued during the shoot as well because the mom was nursing and didn't have anything to do. So I was just continuing working on my project. She got really excited to come back in the future with her girl when she can sit and sit in the middle of the flowers. But anyway, my husband just dropped off our son. Um, so we're just going to continue working on my little project for a little bit. Yeah, if you see something moving in the background. That's him. So I have made several knots in between. I'm just not quite sure what I'm gonna do with the bottom part yet, these little balls. Um, Cause if I'm gonna put like burlap or twine around it, it's not gonna stay on. If I'm gonna spray paint them, I probably should have done it before I started putting this burlap twine on. Um, if I can just put like leaves in front of it, probably.
So here we go. This is my floral hoop now. So I have just uh, stuck in like all the fake flowers with their stem and all. So I've just stuck them into the side. Here's one peeking out. Um, I have put my DIY garland all around it. I used it kind of as my base, uh, which is nice because there were already like little flowers like coming out. And um, I've just stuck in different fake flowers, which I already had in the studio. And I've connected them just with some green wire onto the hoop. So it's all pretty sturdy connected. I can actually just lift it up and take it with me. It's not too heavy. Um, I'm actually just planning on taking this one outside now to take some photos of our daughter. I want to wait till the golden hour, which is late because it's like spring. Uh, normally she goes to bed at 7, so we might just go a little bit before 7. Uh, we have some blossom trees still outside, so I want to maybe take some photos of her sitting in between the flowers outside, in between the blossom trees. That might be a little bit too much to ask since it's not a planned photo session. She is in school right now. Uh, she has the afternoon off, but the sun is quite bright today. So that's why I want to wait till a little bit later, but then we still have to see if she's up for it. She's turning five. I think it's really pretty when she's wearing her birthday dress, just to have her sit in between the flowers uh, outside and take some photos. So yeah, if we go outside, of course I'll record it. Advantages of having a big car. <laughs> It fits. So I braided her hair to the back. Well, I didn't braid it. I just twisted it. And I've put some fresh eucalyptus in her hair. So now we're going to put the floral circle in the car. My husband is going to film. Uh, and I'm just going to try and take some photos. I'll bring my both, like both my full frame cameras. Um, Nikon D750 and the Nikon D600. Uh, the 750 will be with my 20A. 70 millimeter lens and the d600 will be with my 50 millimeter lens i'm going to use both cameras both lenses probably and then uh, just take some lovely photos of her it's just quality family time we're, we're going with the whole family so my son is coming along as well i might take some photos of the siblings together and um what else oh yeah we're going to see if we can find some blossom trees so we're not sure where we're going yet but i know kind of that we have some trees here nearby which still have their blossom like their spring blossom so we're gonna try and find that uh so now i'm gonna put everything in the car okay so here you can see the blossom trees it's really pretty and here is our little setup so my husband is filming
so we've been taking some shots here in between the blossom trees and uh, I think we're gonna go to another location now there are quite a lot of people here also taking photos just uh, rising their riding their bicycles there are cars there are houses so the trees are super beautiful we took some really lovely photos and now I want to go to a second location where it's a lot quieter and we have more nature and less houses and trees mm -hmm. 